lesson number 14, Analyzing the Transaction. Hello guys, in this lesson, we are going to learn what is a chart of accounts? How do we analyze the transaction? Accounts are tools that we use to record a transaction. In our previous lesson, we compared these colored balls to transactions and the baskets to accounts. These colored balls should be placed in its proper basket in the same way we select the correct accounts and use them to record a transaction. Please take note, a transaction involves at the minimum at least two accounts. A transaction may use three, four, five, six or more accounts, but again, at the minimum, at least it should involve two accounts accounts. There are many asset, liability, owner's equity, income and expense accounts that a business can use. To make the accounts organized, the business can create a chart of accounts. A chart of accounts is simply a list of the accounts that the business will use. The person who will record the transaction can simply select from the chart the appropriate account to be used in recording the transaction. This is an example of a chart of accounts for a service business. There should be a heading consisting of the business name. So this is the chart of account of Pamin Tuan's consulting services. Then the name of the chart, chart of accounts. The accounts are grouped into different categories, assets, liabilities, owner's equity, income, and expenses. Under each category, the specific accounts are listed showing the account number and the account name. Take a look at the account number. Do you notice anything? Yes, there's a numbering convention followed in this chart of account. For assets, the account number starts with 1, liabilities 2, owner's equity 3, income 4, and expenses 5. The numbering pattern may be different for a merchandising or a manufacturing business. The important thing to remember is accounts listed in each category should start with the same number. The chart of account depends on the needs of the business, the type and form of the business. So the chart of account may be different for a service, a manufacturing or merchandising business, or for a sole proprietorship, partnership, or a corporation. It also depends on the rules set by accounting bodies and, of course, the preference of the business. The chart of account makes recording of transactions consistent. The person to record can just select the appropriate account from the chart. Imagine if you have to think of an account name every time you record transaction. That's tiring. With the chart of accounts, you can simply select the account you need for the task at hand. How do we analyze a transaction? But before that, let us first review what a transaction is. A transaction is an event that affects the resources and debts of the business. A transaction is an event that affects assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. If it does not affect any asset, liability or owner's equity account, then it's not a transaction. Guys, just a reminder, a transaction affects at least two accounts. It may involve three, four, or more accounts, but again, at the minimum, a transaction affects at least two accounts. How do we analyze a transaction? The first step is to determine the asset, liability, or owner's equity accounts affected. The second step is to determine if the asset, liability, or owner's equity accounts affected were increased or decreased, and by how much. So by the way, when we say owner's equity, we are referring to the specific owner's capital account, owner's withdrawal account, specific income and expense accounts. In our next lesson, we are going to have an exercise involving analyzing transactions.